Welcome back to Discover Agriculture. This video is on natural rubber latex. From lush rubber farms to the intricate process of latex collection and processing, various applications, and challenges faced by farmers, we'll explore every step that transforms this natural resource into essential products we use daily. So, let's get started on this journey of discovery. Natural rubber, also known as latex or gum rubber, is a flexible and elastic material derived from the sap or latex of the rubber tree, scientifically known as Hevia brasiliensis. This tree is native to the Amazon rainforest in South America and is now widely cultivated in tropical regions around the world, including countries like India, Indonesia, Thailand, Malaysia, and Vietnam. Cultivation of Rubber Trees the trees are typically grown in tropical and subtropical regions, where the climate and soil conditions suit their cultivation. The trees are typically planted as seeds or seedlings in well-drained soils and require adequate sunlight, rainfall, and temperature to grow. Production of natural rubber This involves several stages, from the cultivation of rubber trees to the processing of latex into usable rubber. Let's take a closer look at the steps involved in the production. Tapping Latex Once the rubber trees reach maturity, which usually takes about 5 to 7 years, they are ready for latex extraction. Latex is a milky fluid that is present in the inner bark of the rubber tree. To tap latex, a diagonal incision is made in the bark, and the latex oozes out and is collected in a cup attached to the tree. This process begins early in the morning, as the latex flows more freely in the cooler temperatures. Collection Once the tapping is complete, the next crucial step is collecting the latex, or rubber milk, from the attached cups on the trees. Dish cleaning Before adding freshly collected latex, the rubber dishes are thoroughly cleaned to remove any residues or impurities. This helps maintain the purity and quality of the latex. Coagulation Coagulation is the process where the liquid latex is transformed into solid rubber. To coagulate the latex, a coagulant like formic acid or acetic acid is added. This causes the latex to solidify and form rubber curds. The coagulation process helps in separating the solid rubber from the liquid part of the latex. Draining. The mixture is left to stand for several hours, allowing the rubber to separate from the liquid. The excess liquid, known as serum, is then drained off. Pressing. The pressing of the coagulated latex typically happens the day after the coagulation process. This allows the latex to fully solidify and separate from the liquid, making it easier to handle and press into sheets. So, the latex collected and coagulated today would be pressed into sheets the following day. This step-by-step -step process ensures the highest quality of natural rubber. The pressing of coagulated latex typically involves two different machines. The first machine is called a creeping machine. 
It presses the coagulated latex into thin sheets, which helps to remove excess water and impurities. The sheets produced by the creeping machine are rough and have a crinkled texture. It further presses the sheets to remove any remaining moisture and smooth out the texture. The machine produces smooth, uniform sheets of rubber that are ready for drying. Drying The sheets are then hung to dry, either in smoke houses or air dried, depending on the desired properties of the final product. Drying might take a bit longer, depending on humidity and temperature. Drying rubber sheets often involves both sunlight and smoke drying methods. Sunlight drying This method is used to initially dry the rubber sheets. The sheets are hung in open areas where they can be exposed to direct sunlight. Smoke drying After the initial drying in the sun, the rubber sheets are often moved to a smoke house. The smoke drying process not only completes the drying but also enhances the quality of the rubber. Packing the high-quality rubber sheets are then packed into bales or bundles for transportation. Processing The packed rubber is transported to factories where it will be further processed into various rubber products. At the factory, the rubber undergoes additional processing steps such as mixing with other materials, molding, and vulcanization to create the final products. Challenges Rubber farming, while lucrative, comes with its own set of challenges. Here are some of the key issues faced by rubber farmers. Climate change Rubber trees are sensitive to climatic conditions. Changes in temperature and rainfall patterns can affect latex production. Extreme weather events like floods, droughts, and cyclones can damage plantations. High input costs the cost of establishing and maintaining a rubber plantation is high. This includes expenses for land preparation, planting, fertilizers, and labor. Pests and diseases Rubber trees are susceptible to various pests and diseases, which can significantly reduce yield. Labor shortages Skilled labor is essential for tasks like tapping and processing latex. However, there is often a shortage of skilled workers, which can impact productivity. Market fluctuations The price of natural rubber is subject to global market fluctuations. Low market prices can make it difficult for farmers to cover their costs and make a profit. Post-harvest processing The cost and complexity of processing latex into usable rubber can be high. This includes coagulation, pressing, and drying processes. Addressing these challenges requires a combination of improved farming practices, technological advancements, and supportive policies. Conclusion Rubber farming presents a promising opportunity with a growing demand for natural rubber latex across various industries. However, it also comes with its set of challenges. To maximize profitability and ensure sustainable practices, rubber farmers should focus on adopting modern techniques, effective labor management, sustainable practices, government support, and market awareness. By addressing these challenges and leveraging opportunities, rubber farming can be a lucrative and sustainable venture. Thank you for joining us on this insightful journey into the world of natural rubber latex. We hope you enjoyed learning about the processing, applications, and challenges of this incredible natural resource. If you found this video helpful, 
please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to discover agriculture for more informative content.